Welcome back, everybody. Um, how's it going? Is it riding season yet? Uh, today I want to talk about another helmet that I uh, had imported to me. Um, it is the SMK um, Retro Helmet. You can see here, pretty snazzy little helmet. Um, caught my eye. I love vintage things, vintage clothes, vintage helmets, vintage bikes. So it was fairly inexpensive, somewhere under $150. Uh, that's with shipping and all that. Um, and I also had imported a visor that's this kind of um, iridium gold and greenish tint to it. Now, you gotta be careful where you order these visors from because the one that I bought came damaged, uh, scraped during shipping, and I got a partial refund but kept the, kept the visor. But, so I have it, uh, the original SMK uh, helmet comes with a clear visor. It does not have a secondary inner visor, so you're gonna have to wear sunglasses if you're riding in the sun. Uh, in the sun. Otherwise, it is one of the most striking and comfortable helmets that I have in my possession. Um, the inside looks really cool. It's got this kind of a brown, dual tone, brown, black leather finish. And um, I'll put the helmet on in a few minutes and show you what it looks like um, on my noggin. But uh, yeah, just if you're into these kind of like vintage helmets, uh, that have a modern flair um, that are at least made with modern you know considerations modern uh, technology can't go wrong with this SMK the uh, um, kind of cool little strap on the back there uh, and it does come in multiple colors uh, I have I'm looking at my screen here at least at least five different uh, iterations um, all kind of vintagey, kind of vintage. You can have a blank one, you can have blue, all sorts of stuff. I would say, take a look at it. Uh, again, it's SMK. Now, for those of us in the States, there's another um, version of this from what I could find on the internet um, called Daytona Helmets. Um, from all appearances, it literally looks like the same setup, same helmet. It makes me feel like they uh, maybe import the helmets um, from wherever this is made. I don't know if it's Europe or Asia and um, just do different colors on it. Uh, and then in this particular, it's about the same price, but it comes from the US and so you can get that version. And uh, this one comes in a couple of colors as well. One, two, three, maybe four or five as well, but they're different from the SMK colorways. So if you prefer this kind of look, um, I would suggest you go with the SM, SMK, check out the Daytona uh, Retro helmet, and they have a slightly different finish to them. You can see that it has multiple vents in the front, the bottom here, and at the top here. Uh, these vents are stuck open. You do not have the option to close them, but they are fairly small and they will provide enough ventilation. You may not want to be wearing this helmet when it's super cold in the winter because you will not be able to close them. There's no exit vent of any kind. So this is really no frills kind of vintage looking um, vintage helmet. Maybe short rides. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily take this on the extremely long multi-day kind of ride either. Uh, it does have, from what I can feel, space for speakers. So you'll get to see that uh, you'll get you, you'll be able to put some kind of speaker inside if that's what you want, and uh, yeah, solid construction, fairly lightweight, looks great. Um, I highly recommend trying this out. Fairly inexpensive for a retro helmet. There are other ones out there like uh, Bell makes retro helmets uh, built. Uh, Built well makes a retro helmet as well. And uh, there's many, many other ones, especially since you can get the Daytona one in the US. This one, again, you will have to import. 
That about wraps it up for the SMK uh, retro helmet. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any other questions, make sure you uh, comment below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time. See you guys.